Hey there folks, Gary Bradley here and in this video I'm going to show you another new feature of Adobe Photoshop CC 2020 which is the object selection tool. So if you've discovered in the last couple of years, buried underneath the magic wand, the select subject button, that has historically allowed you to select one prominent subject in your image, which saves a lot of time. So it's kind of following along those lines really, but adding some extra functionality to make life easy when making selections. So you can find the object selection tool in the tools panel. It is now given pole position as the fourth tool down in the tools panel. And the older tools of the quick and magic wand in there are still there. But if I click on object selection tool, we have some modes across the top for the type of selection uh, action we want. So we've got new, add to, subtract, intersect, very familiar styles in there. You can start off by creating a region that is rectangular or a lasso style manual selection for the regional region in there to start off with. I'm going to leave that set to rectangle for now. You've got an option to sample and select from all layers in the layer stack. There's an auto enhance, which to be honest, I would leave turned on from experience. This tends to create nice, smoother, refined edges, remove some of the blockiness around the edges of your selection. And then the object subtract button is really what gives this tool its real value because this is the bit that detects the edges and things. So I will show you what that does if you turn that off. Um, and notice there is a select subject button inside of here. Now, if I was just to click on that, this does almost identical things to what it did in the magic one. So it will pick out prominent subjects in your image. And in this case, it's selected a few, but to be fair, this is a very tough one for Photoshop to be able to pick up. There are many, many subjects in here. So maybe for this image, select subject isn't the right one, but if I go to select and choose deselect, and if I was to choose to, I could click and drag my initial rectangular region of selection across those two raspberries, let go of the mouse, and then Adobe Sensei takes over and looks for the edges of the subject. Does a pretty cracking job. And the other thing I could do then is to go up to the top and change the initial mode to lasso. And then the selection type, I can change that one to add to selection. And if I want to then try and click and hold down the mouse and drag around these fruits to add these into the selection as well, just doing a fairly loose selection in here, let go of the mouse. Again, Adobe Sensei takes over and it does a fairly good job of selecting those as well. So maybe the odd couple of things it doesn't quite pick up. So over here, it's included a little bit of the background. So again, what I can do is this time choose subtract from selection type. And then uh, again, you'll need to make sure the object subtract is turned on. And I'll click and drag around that region like so. And then Adobe Sensei will take over and do its magic. So again, if I space bar over here to pan, and drag around this region here, you can just tidy these details up, which would be you know, quite tedious at times because it's quite tricky with all the shadow area inside of there. So you can do that as well. So that is a, a pretty neat feature. Now, there may all be some odd stubborn ones that are left over that are, are tricky, tricky to get with Adobe Sensei's technology. So you can turn off the object subtract button in here. Now that will literally just turn this tool into the behavior of the regular lasso tool, really. So I want to reduce this area, I can click and hold down the mouse. You will have to be perfectly accurate in this case and then let go of the mouse and it just performs a basic selection. In this case, I've removed that portion from there. So with that one turned off for object subtract, kind of removes, as I say, the functionality of this uh, it's, uh, AI technology and it just turns this into a regular lasso tool. So as I say, for the most part, leave that turned on. Now I can zoom out then, space bar, and then change this to add to selection mode. And again, uh, if I switch to my rectangle mode and draw a rectangular region across here, I can add this piece of fruit in as well. Of course, from here, you could utilize that to go to adjustments, turn on say a black and white adjustment. If I go to the masking option in here, sneakily down here, there is invert, and that will allow you to perform things like this. So the object selection tool is, uh, is another good way of creating fairly accurate selections nice and quickly all inside of Adobe Photoshop CC 2020, folks. And until next time, farewell.